Hi everyone and welcome to the last instalment of your PE lessons for this half term. In Teacher Me, the task gets flipped on its head. So far in your PE task this term, um, you've been given guidance around um, setting something up, be that uh, setting a circuit up or going all the way back to week one where we were looking at creating a game and you've been given guidance around the structure and how you want to go about doing that. Uh, this week in Teacher Me, the task gets flipped on its head and you are the teacher now. Okay, you're going to have to plan your lesson. You're going to have to think about what equipment you might want to use. You're going to think about um, the ability of your learner. Uh, and you're going to have to take all of that into account as you go about planning your session. And I just want to help you now with a, a few ideas and a few ideas from um, some of the department in order to uh, set this up as effectively as possible um, for an engaging and an enjoyable lesson. The first step as ever in your lesson should be a warm up. So your first activity needs to be a pulse raiser, get that heart rate up, get the blood moving around your muscles carrying oxygen to them. The next step is dynamic stretching. Um, not only is this going to stretch the muscles and continue to warm your body up, but we can start to prepare our muscles and our joints for the type of movements we're going to be doing and also prepare mentally for our session. Hi guys, just a couple of tips from me for when you're planning your Teacher Me activity. Um, try thinking about maximising the activity time for your pupils while still keeping it fun, exciting and engaging. Uh, keeping your instructions short and sweet is going to help you to do that. Enjoy! The next part of your lesson is planning what you want to teach and also what equipment you might need in order to teach that lesson. Uh, it may well be that you have limited access to, to equipment, so that's going to have a major bearing over what you're able to teach. However, you'd be amazed at how creative you can be creating games with one ball or, or access to minimal equipment. However, if you don't have anything, um, then there are so many apps out there now that we can use uh, in order to, to create some competition, to have some fun, uh, and also to help keep you fit and active. How do you get people to engage in your lesson? A tip from me would be to include a competitive element, whether it's trying to get them to beat their score or a set score, or alternatively, if you've got more than one participant, maybe get them to compete against each other. When you're planning your task uh, and your lesson, you're also going to have to take into account the ability of your performer. You might uh, set up a task that uh, one performer finds incredibly easy, um, leading to boredom uh, and a lack of challenge. Yet the same task uh, might be way too challenging um, for somebody else um, and just you know, really demoralise that, that performer because they're not able to get out anything out of the session. So you need to think about how you can play around um, with similar tasks in order to um, make the task achievable uh, but also to, to challenge uh, those more able performers. With the app called Home Court, you can work on your agility and at the same time you can challenge your family and see who can get the highest score. The Home Court app allows us to differentiate our lesson by changing the movements, uh, by changing the intensity that our performer is going to have to work at. Um, so for your more able performer or after a period of time, once you see that your performer's improved, we can keep challenging them. So there we have it, um, that is Teacher Me. Uh, as always, we really look forward to seeing what you guys are able to come up with. Uh, the last thing from me is um, well done on everything that you've, you've been able to achieve this half term. Uh, and on that note, um, you know, really enjoy half term when it comes. Stay safe, stay active, and we we'll look, uh, look forward to seeing you um, in a couple of weeks time.